Well, quite the show in the sky is set for tonight. A total lunar eclipse will create a huge, beautiful blood moon. Now, this rare celestial event will turn a full moon into a reddish kind of color, often referred to as a blood moon. CBS Philadelphia's Ray Strickland has more on when you may be able to see it. People should be excited to view the total lunar eclipse this evening because it doesn't happen all that often. For the first time in three years, the Philadelphia region will be in for a celestial treat, a total lunar eclipse that turns a full moon into a reddish color often called a blood moon. The moon appears red because when it passes through the Earth's shadow, the sun's light is filtered as red, and that's what we see on the surface of the moon. So here's the moon right at the Franklin Institute Science Museum in Philadelphia. Chief astronomer Derek Pitt showed us a simulation of the moment the sun, earth and moon aligned to cause a lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon passes into the earth's shadow. But during this total lunar eclipse, the entire moon will fall in the deepest part. The cool thing about lunar eclipses is that they're visible all across the Western Hemisphere. So anybody from the East Coast to the West Coast, from Canada, all the way down into South America, if their sky is clear, they'll be able to see it tonight. Pitt says if you want to see it, you may have to stay up past your bedtime because the partial eclipse is set to begin around 1 o'clock in the morning. Pitt says the entire eclipse will last for six hours, but the best part, when the moon appears red, will be much shorter for about 65 minutes starting around 2.30 in the morning. Unlike solar eclipses, Pitt says this eclipse is safe to view with the naked eye. And why take a chance on maybe seeing the next one when you can see this one tonight? And Pitt says the next time people in Philadelphia will be able to see a total lunar eclipse will be in 2026. In Philadelphia, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Philadelphia.